Hey, this is Tulio's Fast Forward series, where we get right to the good stuff by showing you how our customers use Tulio to get shit done. In today's episode, we're covering how to create a new preseason plan. Let's go. Here we are in Tulio's merchandise planning module. If you're like, this looks like a spreadsheet, but better, we'd be like, we know. Here we have all the goods in separate sections, inventory, sales, pricing, and a bunch more other stuff down here. As you can see, we're in 2023, and to start, we have big fat zeros across our gross sales ticket plan. Let's change that. We're gonna go up and head to the right to find our scenario menu. Here, we'll select seed. Let's keep our section simple by assuming we like what we did last year and we'd like to start there, but grow. You know, because the boss always says, you know, last year was good, but we wanna do 20% better in 2023. Yeah, yeah, of course we do. So starting with last year's numbers, we simply select plan year and then 2021 and push the seed button and voila. You have all of last year's data organized by product mix ready to roll. By the way, congrats on an awesome September. Tell me why later. Now, obviously that's a joke. I know this isn't your real data, but if it were, you'd be able to click into any of these groups to dig into why it worked last year and what definitely did not. Probably some designer who insisted pink polka dots were going to have a massive comeback. Claire, it's always Claire. Anyway, we've kept our group simple in our example, just division and department but these are adjustable to fit your business. This is also an apparel example, but if you say sell containers, looking at you, container store, cause, uh, then this might say kitchen and closet and storage instead. You can also add as many layers as you need here in the group selector, like channel or class. Okay, with our plan seated, it's time to give our CFO that 20% growth they asked for. Note the current projection for September. It's 1.85 million. Now. We're gonna to go to line item, percentage variable, actual to plan versus actual. Then we pop in a two, a zero, then a percentage sign and enter. Boom, our September has now a 2.22 million in sales instead. Now, if you're an Excel wizard, you might be saying, okay, well, I could do that in my Excel file. And I would say, oh, can you? On which of your 300 tabs? And can you do this? Can you just expand a preseason plan line and see downstream impact of the adjustment in your division and department? Yeah, I didn't think so. All right, let's move on and scroll down our page. Pass pricing, margin, receipts, and open to buy and stop at KPIs to adjust our weeks of supply. Say we wanna target 12 weeks of supply all year long. Again, this is a metric that you can customize. If you're a grocery, that length certainly wouldn't work for you. One column here on the colors, whenever you see a yellow highlight, that's Tulio drawing your attention to something you should be looking at and potentially adjusting. As we adjust January's WOS from seven to 12, you can see a change at the top of the line. Then just like in Excel, we can hover over the bottom corner, wait for the plus sign, and then drag that number down through the rest of the cells to reflect a 12 week timeframe for each month. Now get ready because drum roll please, this will automatically create your open to buy. Here's what the open to buy for our favorite month, September, looks like before that change, and here it is after. And there you have it. That's how you could and should be preseason planning. There's so much more that we can do, and we'd love to show you. Go here to book a demo. We're looking forward to hearing from you. Thanks, you guys.